I'm Scott Cousins, editor of the Frankfurt Times, and these are some of the stories you will see in Thursday's paper. The sale of the former Nidec Motor Corp building is expected to be finalized Friday, ending months of negotiations and placing the property back on the tax roll. Local company Centurion Solutions negotiated a deal to purchase four acres of land, including the former Nidec facility, for more than one million from the Frankfort Clinton County Airport Authority. New Orleans has Mardi Gras and Rio de Janeiro has Carnival, but the Michigan Methodists get pancakes. The Michigan Town United Methodist Church held a Shrove Tuesday pancake supper as part of a community outreach program series. A change of venue motion sought by attorneys for Jordan Privy was denied Wednesday by Clinton County Circuit Judge Brad Moeller. Privy, 22, who was at the hearing, has been charged with one count of rape, a Class B felony. According to court documents, the incident allegedly occurred September 15th. He was arrested and made his initial court appearance in early January. Math education researchers from Purdue University worked with Suncrest Elementary School students this school year, introducing them to negative numbers several years earlier than expected by current curricula. With the blessings of the Frankfurt School Board and fellowship funding through next year, the research is slated to continue. Marilyn Williams does everything from pick up food to organizing volunteers. But with each task, she said, she knows she is helping someone in need. As coordinator for the First Baptist Church Food Pantry in Frankfurt, Williams said she is constantly amazed by how the organization is able to provide for so many people in the area. And finally, Frankfurt Mayor Chris McBarnes was honored Tuesday at the State House in Indianapolis by Ivy Tech Community College. He was given a Distinguished Community Ambassador Award during a special event attended by 450 students representing all of Ivy Tech's 14 regions. For more, buy a copy of the Frankfurt Times or visit ftimes.com. Again, I am Scott Cousins, and thank you.